What's up guys? I have a quick question for you today. So do you know why people love using shortcuts in Excel? Well, there are many reasons actually, but the most important is efficiency. So people love increasing productivity and also accomplishing more tasks by using the keyboard instead of mouse. That's very simple, right? That's why people love using shortcuts. Hey again, this is Nestor Adrian Sin, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the 10 most useful shortcuts in Excel. As always, before we get started, please let's make sure that you have subscribed to this channel because you don't want to miss anything. All right, so no more talking and let's dig in. So the first shortcut is find and replace, and we're going to use control F. By using this shortcut, you can search for specific text or numbers in a worksheet, for example. Let's have an example real quick. Let's say that we want to replace Samsung under the claim device column, we see the word Samsung. Okay, so let's say that we want to replace that for a different one. So let's type right here, Samsung, and then let's hit replace. We want to replace with Samsung Galaxy. So what we're going to do is basically let's find all first. Then we are going to replace all of them as well. After we hit the replace all button, a new windows pops up. All is done and we have made 257 replacements. Finally, we close the windows and there you have it. You can double check right here. We initially had just Samsung, now we have Samsung Galaxy. And we hit OK. The change is already there. All right, so that's the first shortcut. So the next shortcut, this is very useful. Okay, I've been using this a lot at work. So it's the task switcher. Okay, we're going to use two keys as well Alt, Tab, Alt, Tab. So you can move your selection forward from left to right by pressing tab while holding down alt. So whatever you release the alt key, the selected task gets active. We have the Excel document open. Let's say that we want to go to Google Chrome. So we press tab and we release. We are right there. Okay. Let's say that we want to go back. Same thing. I'll tap and then we're going to go to the Excel document. We are right there. So that's how it works. So it's so much easier to use this shortcut if we want to look for a different app or a different window or a different document and you have different windows open. Very simple, right? All right. So the third shortcut is how to split your screen into two equal windows. We're going to use two keys right here. We're going to use the Windows key and the left or right arrow. It depends where you want to locate your first window. If you want to locate on the left side of your screen, you're going to press the Windows key and then the left arrow. If you want to place your window on the right side of your screen, so you're going to press the Windows key and then the right arrow. Okay, let's do it. So let's say that we want to put this Excel document on the left side. So we're going to press the, the Windows key and then the left arrow. There you have it. And then you can release it and you have two options on the right side of your screen. You can select right here the Google document. So let's say that you want to translate some information. Let's make it bigger. So I have right here a website. BBC Learning English, let's say that you want to translate an article. So it's very useful to use this shortcut if you want to translate articles in the same computer by using this shortcut. Okay. All right. So let's open real quick a Word document just to use it as an example. Okay. We're going to place this Word document on the right side of your screen, the Windows key and the right arrow. We release it, it's right there. And then we have the option to pick right here, 
So you want to translate? Easy, right? You have the document right here in English, and then on the right side, you have your Word document. Let's say that I want to translate it to Spanish. So you basically see why is this shortcut very useful, right? So this is an application. If you want to translate something, you can place one window on the left and the other one on the right. That's how it works, guys. Very useful. So the next shortcut is how to switch between tabs. Okay. And we're going to go back. Let's use what we have learned so far. Alt tab. Let's go back to our cell document. So we're going to learn how to switch between tabs. Okay. We're going to use two keys here as well. Okay. So we're going to use control and then we're going to press page up or page down. If you press page up, goes to the left and, and if you press page down it goes to the right let's do that control wanna press page down because we want to move to that right see it goes from total cost to total units let's keep going average cost right there you want to go back control page up again control page up again and we are right there so the fifth shortcut is how to move or highlight cells where we have a large amount of data okay let's do this real quick so let's say that i want to select this table we're going to select the first cell right here and then we're going to press Control shift and then we're going to press the right arrow and then the down arrow see right there so we have a thousand rows and we have selected everything quickly and then you can do whatever you want with this data you can highlight it let's say we can highlight it you can you can change the color whatever you want to do all right the next shortcut so we're going to i'm going to teach you how to format cells okay this shortcut brings up the format cells dialog box and then you can choose to format your numbers dates alignment phone border etc Let's say that right here we want to add the dollar symbol for all the information that we have under device cost. Okay, so we're going to select everything. We know how to do that, right? Control shift down arrow. It's right there. And then we're going to use control one, control and number one. Automatically appears a different window right here. We have the option to select, in this case, currency, zero decimals, symbol dollars. And then we hit OK. There you have it. So we see right here that every single value has the dollar symbol. And then we hit OK. There you have it, my friends. All right, guys. So the next shortcut is how to create a table. OK, so we're going to use a different tab. We're going to create a table. OK. So in order to do that, let's make sure that we are inside of this group of data. And then we're going to hit Control T. Right after we hit Control T, this window appears. So automatically, the whole data has been selected. And then let's make sure right here, if we have headers, so we need to select this because we already have headers. Okay, let's do that. And then we hit OK. There you have it, my friends. So this data is in a table format right now the next shortcut that i want to teach you is how to add filter to a table okay so we're going to use the same table and this table actually has a filter we're going to remove it that's basically the same shortcut i'm teaching you right now so you have to be inside of this table and then you're going to press Control shift l Control shift l you can remove and add a filter by using that shortcut. Control Shift L and then the filter automatically appears right here. You can double check, it's right there. You can double check right here, it's right there as well. Okay. All right, so the next one is how to add columns or rows to a table. And we're gonna use a different tab right here. We're gonna use this tab right here. So let's say that we wanna add a new column right here between columns A and F. So we're going to select this column right here 
and then we're going to press Control shift plus and then you can do right here whatever you want to do you can call this test whatever you want to call it and then you can you can add information whatever information you want to add and you can modify this table okay so right here let's say that we want to add a row we select this row we want to use the same shortcut Control shift plus there you have it it's very simple right you can add right here whatever you want to add it's very useful if you want to add more specific information, right? The last shortcut that I want to show you, it's how to delete columns or rows by using shortcuts, okay? So let's say that we want to delete this column right here. So we're going to use Control minus, and we go right here to this cell, Control minus. There you have it, my friends. That's it, guys. Ten very useful shortcuts and you're gonna love it ha huh. before i leave i have a bonus for you i know everyone loves bonuses right i love this bonus my friends so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to you for free can you believe that so right here if you see this table between c and e there is something missing there so the column d is hidden if you see right here between these two rows so there are more rows that are hidden as well. Just, just keep it in mind. So let's say that I want to copy that visible information only. So let's do that. Let's test it first. Okay. All right. Let's say that we want to copy these 20 rows right here, including the headers. Okay. So we're going to use a traditional way, Control C, and then we're going to copy it right here. Control V. Oh, now you can see an extra column right here. Now you can see the claim date. And if you can see right here, we don't see claim date right here, right? What else? Ah, now you can see the rows that are hidden here. Because right here, we know that we have at least seven rows hidden. And now we can see 9, 10, 11, 16. So in other words, the traditional way doesn't work. So let's go back and let's try this shortcut. So I said before, you're going to love it. Let's select the first 20 visible rows. I wanted to specify. I want to copy those visible rows only. So the shortcut is Alt Semicolon. So we're going to press Alt and then Semicolon and then Control C and then Control V right there. We don't see same date, we don't see right here the hidden cell that we have right here. There you have it, guys. So now you know how to select, copy, and paste visible cells only. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and the most important part, don't forget to subscribe, okay? because you don't want to miss anything, right? All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day.